Hi ladies, hi gents. I want to share a video with you today and it's a design team project for Wild Orchid Crafts and I will pop all the links down below in the description box to the store and to the website uh, on Facebook and um, also my product list. I'm going to do it a little bit different today because I'm going to show you the products I used first um, Otherwise I'll be starting and stopping when I show you the uh, project. So I think this might be a little bit easier. So first of all I used some of the white and cream tone trellis roses in the 40ml. And the product code is MKX091. And I used mostly the whites out of these packs. And then I used some of the white and cream tea roses in the 40ml and the product code is QVR027. And then I used the um, white and cream cottage roses in the 30ml and the product code is QVR050. Then I used some of the large white wild rose buds, which I absolutely love, and the product code is MKX100. And I use some of the Tuscany, these are ivory Tuscany uh, rose buds, MKX627. And then some of the white hip rosebuds, GST020. And then I used two different size of leaves. So I used the 14ml white leaves and the product code is MKX451. And I used the 30ml also and the product code is MKX450. So three different size rose buds, two sizes of leaves, and three different roses. So we've got the cottage rose, the tea rose, and the trellis rose. So those are the products that I use. Right, so I just want to show you the inspiration for this project. And it is a rose garland that I have. I bought some of these recently and I absolutely love them and I thought you know what I think I could make one of these. So this was the inspiration and I actually done a open garland so that I can hang it on a shelf. So this is going to be difficult, difficult to film because it's quite large. So you'll see, hang on. So I try and put it all on screen at once so you'll see it's quite a long one because I'm actually going to hang it over a shelf um, so how I started this was I just took some wire and this one is, has no size on it but any any um, wire would do so I took some wire and cut it to the length of garland that I wanted to make and then I just used some raffia ribbon um, to tie around it. This one I actually got in a, a supermarket and it's in white. But I did actually find some on eBay as well, which is in cream. And I just wrapped that. I opened it up a bit. And I just wrapped it round the wire, all the way around the wire for the length of garland. I just ad adhered it every so often and just wrapped it round. You can see that on. So I just took it and twisted it round the wire and glued it every so often. Like that. And that was a little bit time consuming but I just sat on the sofa watching a film while I was doing it because I really wanted to make one. So raffia ribbon and some wire. And I guess if you used a thick gauge one it might be easier. But, you know, this is just what I had, so I just used that. So once I'd done that, what I then did is took my 
leaves and my roses and um, tied them on. And what I did on the stems of the roses, I kept the stems on and I also put raffia around the I put raffia around the stems of the roses and just twisted them onto the garland at the back. So you'll see three twists coming off at the back here. So that's the three roses stems. So I just wrapped the raffia around the stems as well. So that's the centre of the garland. Okay. And then in between, obviously, I put some leaves and I also tied a little bit of the raffia in between also. So that's the centre of the garland. Let's do this. Then the next one down, both sides, I sort of done it equally as I went down the garland. I used three of the wild rose buds and again I twisted them all together and then wrapped the raffia around um, the stems and three that side and then moving down I used uh, another rose, well two roses in two different sizes and did the same thing using the leaves and a little bit of raffia tied behind it and I really love how this turned out and then further down I used um, the Tuscany rosebuds with the wild rose bud just keep doing the same thing all the way down using different flowers and different sizes Next was a single rose, here, and the next one has three different rose buds, so we've got the wild, the hip and the Tuscany there, the leaves behind, and I just twisted the um, stems as I went and the bottom two are just hip rose buds so there's four on there plus a twist plus a little bit of raffia and then at the end I've just twisted the ends and I actually really had a lot of fun making this let me now I had so much fun making this garland and I'm so thrilled how it turned out um, and it's definitely one that you could do I mean I didn't glue any of the flowers on they're all just twisted on um, so apart from when I was covering the wire and used a little bit of glue I didn't you know I sat on the sofa and just you know made this sitting there while watching TV so um, it really was a lot of fun and I'm so thrilled how it turned out I really hope you like it and um, because these these garlands can be really really expensive to buy um, and now I've made one I'll definitely be making more and I'm gonna hang this round the shelf and I'm just thrilled with it I really am um, but of course as well instead of raffia you could use um, seam binding or ribbons or anything like that you know and do it in any colour way obviously because like Wild Orchid Crafts do so many different colours you could do it in your favourite colour way um, but it really is fun to do really really fun and I'm gonna go pin this onto the shelf um, as soon as I can um, I am thrilled with it, absolutely thrilled with it. So I really hope you like it and I hope you'll give it a go. Um, once, once I think once you do the wire, that's, that's the worst bit is covering the wire with the raffia. It's not difficult, it's just, you know, um, more time consuming than the rest of it, but definitely, you know, covering the wire. I think as well you can actually buy wire that's already got raffia covering 
Um, I think I've seen some before, but I haven't really looked into it. I just, you know, I had the wire and I had some raffia, so I just went ahead and did it that way. But, yeah, so I'm absolutely thrilled with that. So I really hope you like it. And um, all the product uh, codes will be down below for the flowers that are on this particular garland. Let me know what you think, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.